this is the story of how Conor McGregor was introduced to the secret. My sister, when I was a young kid at around 15 years of age, unsure where I was going, came to me with, with a book, The Secret, and uh, preaching the law of attraction. And I was like, stop, get away from me. You're, I'm only a young kid. I didn't care about that. I wanted to just go and play. You know, I wasn't interested. I was almost laughing at it. But then I, she kept on me with it, and I eventually watched uh, a movie on it uh, and, and read some books on it. And then it started to resonate with me, like... To, to, to keep positive and, and have belief in where you're going and, and, and you're able to, you can almost visually create your entire world, no, not almost, you actually can, Yes. you can and then I was like, I'm going to do that and I will do that and then that's when I began to practice it, I practice it, I used to drive, we used to drive, um, my girlfriend we used to drive to a food place in like a shopping mall in Ireland and it was a very busy shopping mall and I'd all, like, I would practice like little parts of it like when, when we were driving into the shopping mall the car park I would always visualize that the car park space right at the front door would be empty for me waiting for us to pull up and sometimes I'd get it and sometimes I wouldn't get it you know but when I when I got it I celebrated like I just won my double world title you know when I kept building on that and, and, and I got better at it and, and it, it became, I became so damn good at it that I was able to go into bouts against undefeated fighters for Non, not defeated for over 10 years, you know, people with insane fighting legacies. And I was able to go in front of the world and tell the world, I'm going to knock this man out with this exact shot at this exact time. And I've done it back to back to back. And, and So you visualize it? You I visualize it. it. You tell everybody? I tell everyone. I think that's a very important thing. It's easy for us to keep it all in. All in is a term I like to use in my ventures. All in. We've got to be all in on our, our ventures. I am I am all in on my whiskey. I'm all in. On, on my coding, my fitness, my fitness regime, the McGregor Pass program. I am all in on the fight game. I'm, I just want my work. You know, we're in, there's a lot of politics in the game. The fight game is full of sharks, but I'm the fucking whale. So I want what's mine, and that's what I'm going to get what I, what I deserve. Well, again, yes, see, I was visualizing before. Obviously, soccer is huge in, in, in Ireland and the UK, yeah. and it was my first love, most certainly. I used to sneak out of the house late at night, and there used to be a little grass patch by my home, and I would play, I would take the football out and play on the grass patch on my own, and I would kick the ball against the wall. And when I kicked the ball against the wall, I would imagine it was a, a goal, the yeah. goal net, yeah. and I scored a goal, and I would run off, and I would visualize a screaming arena cheering me on. And they were my first visions of of selling out arenas and, and you know and de yes. doing these type of things. Although although it didn't end up in the football game, I ended up in a similar one. So it it, it all worked out, and it, yes. and it was all true visual visualization. So um, I was just a young kid with a dream. You know what I mean? I know my, and know sometimes my dreams people, change and yeah. change, but it was still a kid with a dream and a belief in himself. And for many times, I was laughed at and not believed in. But you know what? Nothing external can. Can, can defeat the internal. The only yes. thing that can take someone down or break you down is internal. Nothing external is strong enough. It's just about making sure your internal dialogue and your internal belief in yourself is strong enough that it can withstand the external. The external is there. Yes. You've got to accept it. You've got to embrace it. You've got to understand it and be aware of it. But don't let it seep into, you, into your internal dialogue. Like and subscribe for more content like this.